Thank you very much for inviting me along, Digisol. Uh, first of all, I'd just like to say I'm pleased I am to be here. Because when, obviously after the commitment that I made to Digisol last year for the under 20s, it was decided that we were going to do something again this year. But um, <coughs> it was a very successful campaign last year and, and generally speaking around the world when people say we're going to do something next year, sometimes it doesn't happen. So when I got the call a few months ago that it was going to happen for the under 16s, I was more than delighted to get involved. There are many Caribbean islands, and uh, it wasn't a lottery, but when it was decided which, when they were thinking about which islands they were going to, as much as I didn't have an influence over which island was going to be, I was hoping that Barbados would be one of them. I have to say, I was hoping Barbados would be one of them. Not only because it's a beautiful island, there are lots of beautiful islands in the Caribbean, but because of the, the level of interest and commitment that there is to the football program here. Uh, as much as in England and you know we have an image of, of, of the Caribbean and the image of certain islands and certain islands are viewed to be cricket islands. <laughs> Barbados is one of them and I'm sure Barbados <laughs> is a cricket <laughs> island. <laughs> but nevertheless people aren't aware of the, the quality and the support and the interest there is for football also in, in Barbados and because I'm aware of it I was hoping that Barbados would be on the list of, of countries. As the minister mentioned um, a boy from Barbados was unfortunate enough to be to be chosen because the, the quality is very high, the, the uh, competition is very high, but I have to make special mention there are two players who came very close to, to, to going there. One in particular, Brett Carrington, who I understand is now playing football in America, sure. came extremely close to going uh, because I, I was aware of the quality that they actually have here. The interest that they have, we can just see by the amount of boys that are actually coming, the amount of coaches that are actually coming, shows the commitment that there is in Barbados to football and I think I, if I needed any first hand experience of not only the level of commitment and interest but quality that there is here, uh, my first game as head coach in Jamaica was against Barbados and up until probably 75 minutes that could have been my last game for Jamaica also <laughs> <laughs> when we were 1-0 down quick 15 minutes ago. Fortunately for us we came back to win <coughs> so I'm still there. <laughs> But I can tell you, if they'd beaten us, I wouldn't have been coming here now, I can tell you. <laughs> so I understand the level of interest, commitment, and desire that they have here in Barbados to football. So I was, I'm more than pleased to be here. And um, this is the second island we've been to. We started off in Jamaica for three, four days, and now we're here. So I know that I will see not just quality, but I will see the discipline and the desire and the dedication that's necessary. Um, for these boys to make the bonus. So I'd like to wish all of them the best of luck.